Ego Center is a lot of things. Um, it's really um, a playground, sort of, of just learning about sustainable systems and just getting hands-on experience in all the different aspects of sustainability, whether it's energy efficiency, um, sustainable building designs, or wastewater treatment um, and environmental monitoring, as well as native landscaping and habitat restoration. So the internship program is for five college students and five high school students. The reason we chose five and five is to kind of create a mentorship atmosphere between both the college and the high school students um, and give some of those high school students something to think about when they start planning on taking classes either at City College or transferring to a four-year institution. It just really gives them an opportunity to learn about sustainable systems and get hands-on experience and hopefully uh, use that experience to get other jobs or internships in the future. I think that's one of the things that, I, that, was, that really drew me to this place is that uh, the opportunity to educate lots of uh, new people with, into environmental science. Right now, um, specifically for California, I think uh, a really important environmental issue is water conservation. We use water very, very frivolously in our society. You walk down the street and you see people power washing the sidewalk and we're in a really terrible drought. So I think really conserving water is very important. Global warming, or climate change, whatever you want to call it, is uh, definitely really, really serious. It's changing really fast right now. So that's kind of the problem, is that we've added all of these extra blankets so the earth is heating up really fast. Having the Eco Center built and operational and, uh, and fully staffed with a bunch of you know, employees and interns excited about environmental science makes environmental science feel more human and approachable to different types of people. And it's really easy in this building specifically because we have everything very visible. Our, our wastewater tanks are out, our, our power lines are out and visible, so you really are aware of where your resources come from, where they go. We conserve water in a lot of different ways. We have three 4,800 gallon tanks. Water is collected whenever it rains or whenever there's enough fog. Even though we do get some water from the city, our system is basically um, self-serving that we're able to use our stormwater and the water from our on-site wastewater treatment system. And what we end up with is water that meets the EPA's recreational use standards and we're able to ir irrigate our butterfly field and our green roof and also um, have a nice little uh, constructed wetland habitat inside. Anytime you're doing any type of monitoring, environmental monitoring, there's a couple of things that are the same across the board. There's septic technique. As far as our on-site wastewater treatment system, we're really just mimicking what the wetlands do here in Northern California anyway. We're able to uh, treat our wastewater on site without the use of chemicals, just through natural processes. Basically, it's a mini version of a conventional wastewater treatment system that you would see um, at SFPUC. After all the water is treated conventionally, um, the water goes through our constructed wetland and it really just mimics the way that nature would clean water. And all of that gets recycled um, back to irrigate the landscaping. The Eco Center is a totally off the grid uh, electrically building. We're 100% solar powered, and so we actually have a battery operated system out here. So, all of the energy that is created by our solar panels is stored within our battery system. So, we are a literally battery operated building. I hope the community can uh, learn by seeing all these different sustainable systems in place and see that they actually do work, as well as understanding how our water gets to us and how you can use it more sparingly, especially in the drought uh, conditions that we have currently. I'm definitely interested in a career in environmental sciences. Um, that's my major. That's really what I hope to do with my life. I don't know exactly what, but I'm definitely headed in that direction. I think our mutual affection for what the Eco Center stands for us kind of made us into a family. I really like working with everybody that I get to work with. Um, everybody is just super funny and intelligent and we all 
have really great time here, um, doing really wonderful, productive things, and it's just really a great place to be.